Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these Titan Chain Cable Snow Tire Chains on our 2022 Subaru Outback. This is gonna be on tire size 225-65-R17. If you've got a different tire size, be sure to plug in your vehicle information and your tire size into our fit guide to find the right kit for you and your tires. Let's check it out. So like the name suggests, this is going to be comprised of cables rather than traditional tire chains. You can see the cable right here and it's covered by these spring rollers. Now, overall, this is going to be a very non-aggressive, non-invasive sort of chain. It's very low profile, SAE Class S certified for limited wheel well clearance, and it's gonna give probably the least amount of traction compared to other options out there. But as a result, it's going to be a smoother ride quality. So if you're not in extreme weather conditions, you just need something to get you a little extra traction, and you're not wanting a super bumpy ride, then this could be a good option for you. Another thing that helps that is the diagonal pattern where the chains kind of go in this diagonal pattern rather than a ladder pattern style that's more running parallel across the tire. Now with those, it's gonna be a bumpier ride, but better traction for starts and stops. The diagonal pattern is just a less aggressive form of that because you're making more constant contact of tire chain to road, so it's less bumpy. It's constructed of a steel alloy, which is going to be a little bit more durable and corrosion resistant than something like just a basic low carbon steel chain would be. So if you're looking for something that could last for multiple seasons, this could be a good option. Now with this, you'll notice that we do have a rubber tensioner on there, and that's great because with a chain like this that has manual tensioning, no built-in device to help tighten it to the tire, we always recommend a rubber tensioner. You can find those on our site. Now with this kit though, they're included, so you don't need to pick them up separately. It's really nice because you can get both sides of the vehicle all secured and not have to worry about it as much. And with these, you can see just how much slack it's pulling out of those cables, resulting in a strong fit on our tire. Now they do come with a bag for storage, but it's a pretty small bag. And generally they're hard to get back into that bag. You have to coil them up. And especially if they're cold and wet, it might not be very pleasant to do, but generally it's hard to get them rolled up tight enough as they were from the factory. So these cases eventually will result in some wear and tear. The zippers might fail or the bag might rip. So it's not the nicest thing out there. You could go out to look for something like a plastic tote, something a little more rigid and larger to hold them in for storage. That's what I would maybe recommend, but overall the bag's not a great add. But with these, the installation process is gonna be the next thing you're probably wondering about. It's overall a straightforward process. Luckily, we don't have to crawl on the ground and get underneath and behind the vehicle or behind the tire to make any connections. So that definitely simplifies the process, but let's check out that together now. Now, the first thing you wanna do for the install is lay the chain out, make sure that nothing's tangled up. Luckily with these, they're pretty straightforward and they don't often get too tangled with each other, but you still wanna make sure before you put it on the tire. And then take note of the proper orientation. There's an opening in the middle where the tire base will sit. And then these metal end plates are gonna have a flat side and a hooked side. We want the flat side face up. That's gonna even have a little engraving on it that says tire side. Not something you can probably see on camera, but it lets you know the proper orientation. Once you have that set, you can take the cables and feed them behind the tire around the other side. We want that opening again to end up in the middle where the base of our tire will be and then grab it from the other side and pull it across. Now around front, we should see all the pieces, hopefully all untangled. And once you've verified everything's in the proper place, grab this end link on the back side and a hook on the other end. Bring that up into the wheel well where we can make our first connection. It's gonna be pretty hard to see on camera. I'll get my hands out of the way and you can see, there it is. Then keep your hands on the cables while we bring everything to the front and connect this stud to this catch plate right there. And then try to kind of shift things around if they've gotten off center at this point. We wanna make sure everything is sitting properly on the tire and sitting centered. Once you're happy with how it is, make your final connection at the bottom, again, with another stud and catch plate. 
joining the two together like that. At this point, everything's looking pretty solid, but also pretty loose. So I'm gonna get up and grab one of the included rubber tensioners that come in the kit. It's really nice because we always recommend using a rubber tensioner, but the fact that this one comes with the kit means you don't have to pick up anything separately. So just go around with these hooks, hook them onto the cables in a star-shaped pattern, going top to bottom, side to side, to try to apply tension around the cable relatively evenly. Now, once you have that in place, it's a pretty tight fit on this tire, but that is resulting in a really strong fit as well. Repeat that process on the other side of the vehicle, drive forward a few times, and just let them roll over, settle in, and see if anything has loosened up. Come out of the vehicle, check on them. If anything needs further manual adjustment, you can tighten things up at this top connection right here by tightening it up one stud, but I think overall it should be a pretty strong fit, and you should be good to hit the road. And that'll do it for our look at the Titan chain, cable snow tire chains, and seeing how they fit on the 2022 Subaru Outback. Thanks for watching.